When you're applying online at primeinc.com on your application, make sure when it asks you where you refer to by an active prime driver, make sure to click on yes. The box below that, make sure to put my driver code, Strexa. Now let's do some trucking. I should park it over there, or if I should... All right, so I talked to a couple of... Since I've been here, I've been sitting here over the weekend here at this uh, express container wash down here in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And uh, I talked to a couple other truckers and they work for different tanker companies, like local drivers here. Uh, and they said that this place is supposed to open up at midnight. So I'll be staying up tonight. So that way I can make sure my trailer gets checked in and I'll have to call and get a uh, an express code. I'll have to call Prime's fuel desk. But before I can get an express code and call Prime's fuel desk, I have to you know get the amount of how much the, the wash, the trailer wash is gonna cost. So I, I, there's a little bit of information that I gotta have uh, I have most of it except like an invoice now. I need an invoice number and the amount that they're going to be charging Prime. And then I could call Prime's fuel desk and get that. So then that way they can start washing out my trailer. It is putting me behind on this load, but uh, even with me getting behind, you know, half a day or a day, I can still get this load delivered before the pay cut off. So uh, that'll be good. So I'm still over here waiting. Uh, did a lot of video editing on my last video. I spent like 14 hours seriously 14 hours i i spend quite a bit of time uh doing my video editing i like quality over quantity that's just how i am so i would rather provide y'all with quality content and do you know whatever one a week if i can maybe two sometimes i might squeeze three in there if i'm taking a 34 uh or in these types of situations i can throw a little bit more content out there but yeah i take a lot of you know a lot of time because i like to have solid content i do a lot of video editing to make you know my videos Know, be more engaging so they're not boring and stuff so you know i hope y'all enjoy them shout out to all my subs we're going to continue to grow you know i'm still learning y'all can learn from my mistakes i've made plenty of them the guy from express container wash uh they got in about i don't know 10 o'clock called me at 1007 i forgot to put the trip number on my my trailer wash check-in sheet that they had so anyways i gave that to them and uh i got up about 4 30 this morning uh, my trailer was washed, got hooked up to it, and started rolling. I'm in, uh, I just crossed over into Maryland right now. Uh, I'm on Highway 68. I think I've been on, I think I crossed into Maryland about 15, 20 minutes ago. So it's been kind of snowing on and off. It was raining and snowing. Uh, now it's really cloudy. But I got to stop at, at a Love's here in about... 24 miles i gotta grab some fuel and i also need to grab me something to eat too but we are headed to the shipper i love it when it snows i like seeing all the snow on the on the pine trees and the trees yeah it's a little cold outside too <clears throat> it's like 29 degrees little nippy just a little bit
Green light, that means go, baby. That means go. We like the green light. We don't like the red lights when we gotta stop, though. You've reached your stopover. The stopover. Oh, what are, what are you doing, man? Come on, bro. I think everybody has got the same plan. Shut down in Parker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, spin the truck around so that way I can freaking uh, get a parking spot. What time is it? It's 6.49 in the afternoon. I was rolling super early in the morning. Uh, got hooked up to my trailer after the tank wash cleaned it. All right, so I got parked over here at the Loves in Cumberland, Cumberland, Maryland, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Cumberland, Cumberland Maryland. Yeah. So I got a parking spot here. There's like maybe 10 to 15 parking spots left. This uh, Loves down here isn't huge. It's got like 90 parking spots. And uh, so it's not a super large truck stop, but I was rolling super early. I already got loaded at the, uh, at the shipper. So I'm about to go in here and get a hot shower. But first, before I take out a shower, I'm actually gonna be cleaning the inside of my truck out, the floor. It's been raining and snowing. And from being over there at the tank wash, I just tracked in hella mud and dirt inside of my truck. So I'm gonna be cleaning that before I take a shower. But I'm gonna show y'all uh, how easy it is to actually reserve a shower. And I'm gonna show you what the showers here in Cumberland, Maryland at the Loves look like. Got my floors all cleaned up in here. It started snowing for a minute and then it stopped. All right, let's get this trash out of here. Take my trash out. All right, let me turn my light off here. All right, there we go. All right. Make sure I got my key. Always make sure I got my key, man. I ain't trying to lock myself out of the truck. That wouldn't be a good phone call. That'd be an feel like an idiot calling road assist tell him I locked my truck my keys in my truck I was looking to see if there was any trash cans back there but I didn't see any there'll be some trash cans up here I could toss this in yeah this uh this love's filled up quick. Oh, look, there's a trash uh, trash can over here. I'll just throw it over here in the big trash. Over here by this hotel. Let's throw this in here. Bam. All right. Get back to my truck. And I also like parking <coughs> at the back of these truck stops because you get a little bit more exercise walking up to the front. So I personally like parking in the back when I go to truck stops. All right. Mm, smells, smells fresh up in here. Smells real fresh. Okay. And now I'll get my shower bag ready. Give me a pair of underwear, underwear, a pair of pants, and get me a pair of socks. And now I just gotta find a, I gotta find a shirt, a shirt for that. Here we go. And got me a shirt. I don't take my big bag. I don't take that big bag to shout with me in the shower. I take this smaller bag here. I already got everything else in here that I need. The only other thing I gotta grab, this is where I keep all my all my little plastic bags. And this is where I have my shower shoes too. So I get my shower shoes. And I keep these plastic bags because uh, my dirty laundry, I'll just tie up an outfit in one of these bags. And then after, you know, I'll have three or four outfits, I'll put it in my big bag here and then go do laundry. Uh, that's, that's how I do it. But so I got my shower shoes. I got my shower bag. All right, let me uh, close these curtains. <clears throat> close up my curtains. There we go. The only thing left for me to do, this is the Loves app here. And down here where it says showers in blue, customers in line zero, total showers seven. So I'm gonna click on that. All right, so I'm gonna hit purchase, zero dollars. Cause I got platinum status. Uh, when you work for Prime as a driver, 
you're put on a platinum status. You're checked in, you have been placed in the shower line at travel stop number 537. So I am in line for a shower, and then they'll notify me on here. They'll tell me what door to go to, and they'll give me a code, a pin number to get into the door, and I'll show y'all. We'll check the shower out here. All right, so I just got my, my shower check-in, and they give you a 10 minute timer, so I gotta hurry up. I gotta put my jacket back on. And make sure I got my key in my pocket. Make sure I got everything. All right, cool. I gotta hurry up. Shower number two. All right, and I got my key. I got my, I got my shower shoes. Shower shoes, key, and my bag. Turn that dome light off. There we go. And that shower, that shower was amazing, I'll tell you that right now. I just put up my dirty, dirty clothes up here in this bag. Backpacks over here falling off of my fridge. So yeah, I always, uh, whatever clothes I'm wearing, tie them up. That's why I keep these bags around, so I can keep my dirty clothes in these little bags. But it feels so good getting a nice hot shower. That back in there, and that's gonna go down there. What I always do, you know, at the end of the night, basically, I always go back into my navigation to see exactly how far I am away from the receiver so i didn't get over to the shipper until 12 39 in the afternoon i was supposed to be there at 10 but because i got stuck i went to two different tank washes and both were closed on the weekend so i still made it there i was two hours and 39 minutes late but that wasn't my fault so prime doesn't say nothing i mean they know that i was stuck at the tank wash and no i didn't get paid for sitting around waiting at the tank washes but i still made it to my pickup got loaded with the chicken fat at the end of the day, uh, like tonight, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna check right now and see exactly how far I am away from there. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it there tomorrow. I gotta deliver it tomorrow, but I don't have an appointment time tomorrow. I could just show up and deliver it whenever. So that's kind of cool going to uh, Sustainable Sourcing LLC in Clinton, Indiana. So it says I'm 559 miles away uh, which is nine hours and nine minutes but it's going to take a lot longer because i still have to run through highway 68 quite a bit and i have to take highway 79 over to 70 west so i'm going to be going through a lot of steep grades so i'm going to be pressing it for time tomorrow and i know i got a fuel i just don't know where yet in the morning i'm going to do a macro 27 to find out the best fuel stop before i get over to the receiver today and i'll show you all that in the morning but i'm about to go inside right now and give me some mcdonald's and i'm gonna eat brush my teeth and it's gonna be lights out for me 4 36 in the morning all right it's time to go in this loves brush my teeth i gotta move uh oh, that light's bright now you know it'd be hilarious if this this hot shot truck here in front of me if he shut his truck off to save fuel and he's sitting in the truck sitting on his gooseneck trailer that'd be hilarious wouldn't surprise me all righty all righty just got done brushing my teeth and uh, grab me a nice, uh, nice hot coffee. I got me a steak, egg, and cheese bagel from Mickey D's. A little hot coffee. Uh, right now, I'm just letting my truck warm up here, and I'm just, I just checked to see best stop for fuel on the way. So right now, I'm just waiting for Prime's uh, system to send me a message back to let me know the best place to uh, get to grab some fuel on the way to the uh, receiver today. So. That's hot and that's strong right there. Oof. Yeah. Oh yeah. The roads are pretty bad. I already passed like three or four accidents. I think it was three, maybe four. Uh, two semis off the side of the road that were stuck and pulled out, pulled out of the ditch. Um, not sure what happened exactly, but I'm just going really slow and I'm gonna take my time. So I don't know, excuse me, got the hiccups. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it to the receiver today but it's no big deal as long as i get it delivered by tomorrow it started to snow a little bit last night whenever i shut down at this loves and then it stopped and then i woke up and it was snowing a little bit so a snowstorm must have came through 
uh, you know, West Virginia, Maryland a little bit. Yeah, because the roads right now are not ideal and it's very windy, high winds. So I do like having the mid-roof. Uh, I get less wind effect than whenever I was driving my condo Peterbilt 579. No reason to rush getting this delivered if it's going to cause me to have an accident. I've seen a couple snow plows headed, headed east, but I have yet to pass by one going west, which is the way I'm going. All right, so I'm actually at a, uh, <laughs> I'm at the same uh, mandatory brake check station. So I'm gonna switch myself over here to on-duty brake, uh, brake check. I always check everything whenever I stop. And the reason is, let me make sure I got my key. The reason I always check, uh, like check everything on my truck and check my brakes is because right up here around the corner, there's two DOT officers hanging out. All right, those look good. Those look good. Those brakes look good. Ah, try not to get too dirty. But look, if you look straight in front of me, there's two DOT officers. There's a building and they're, they're, they're watching people. So that's why I always, I always check to be safe. Someone's brakes smell hot and they're not mine. Okay, those, uh, those look good. Yeah, everything, uh, everything over here looks good with my truck. I just would rather be safe than sorry. out there bro it is cold out there Ooh, shoot oh all right we're gonna keep rolling Clean, clean this off so I can see. about to roll through Terre Haute right now. I'm about 32 minutes away from Sustainable Sourcing LLC in Clinton, Indiana, where I'm taking this load to. Oh, yeah. He sits right there and he chases the truck across the wall and pulls him over that pull-off spot and gets inspected. Uh-oh, someone's getting inspected. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Let me turn this. It's crazy how you could start your morning and be dealing with rain, snow, and ice completely pitch black because it's so early in the morning to now I'm in basically clear skies and sunshine. So I went from 27 or 28 degrees in the morning, freezing cold temperatures, dealing with ice and snow. Uh, in very bad visibility with heavy winds also, with high winds. 
to now it is like 52 degrees and it is sunny outside <laughs> but i am not complaining i definitely do need to i'm definitely gonna have to wash this damn truck now because my truck is dirty on the outside i don't have a pre-plan so i don't know where i'm going next uh, but once i do i'm gonna see if there is a a blue beacon where I can wash my truck at so that way I can get it washed either on the way to the next shipper or the next uh, receiver we'll see I don't know exactly they might send me uh, they might send me to Dubois Indiana and take that down to Spencer Iowa if that's the case I'll wait till after I do the drop and hook there and I'll get washed out over there at the Iowa 80 <sighs> the largest truck stop in the world uh, i like going over there too they they got my uh they got my vape that i carry for my they got my vape juice that i carry for my vape so i i like going over there i'm gonna find out if we're gonna be doing a drop and hook or if they're gonna be live unloading me You know, actually what I could do is I can actually do a full circle and see if they have any dirty prime trailers. You know, that's what actually I'm going to do. See if they got any dirty prime trailers here. Let's cross the railroad, cross the railroad tracks. <clears throat> oh, snappers, it looks like I'm gonna be waiting here. Oh, they're pumping that off? Huh. Uh, that's a that's a first for me. I don't I never seen that before. They're getting pumped off. I've never oh that's a brand new pump set up over here to the right huh I've never seen that before and they got a KAG over here <laughs> all right I'm gonna do a f another full circle over here I do not see oh there's a 2356 prime trailer over there okay 2356 prime trailer you know what? I think I could just go ahead and drop it over here. Uh, I just went and uh, checked in where this truck's at over here. You see these little orange um, stylos? Basically back there I went and checked in. The trailer that I saw here, it is still loaded. So I can't hook up to it and go. I'm going to be getting live unloaded but I have to wait for, there's another prime driver getting unloaded. So once they're done, they'll be a live unloading me. So I don't know how long that I'm gonna be here. Uh, I have a feeling I'll probably be here for about three hours. Kind of my guess. I kind of got all happy. I saw that trailer. I was like, oh, sweet, empty, dirty trailer. I should have known better if there was a prime, uh, another prime driver over here getting unloaded. So I was like, wah, wah, wah. Now I guess they're, they're enforcing and I understand uh, is that we have to have our hard hat, safety vest. And uh, whenever I walked over there to him, he was just like, oh, my, my boss, my boss said something about your safety glasses. So it's like, man, I was like, I put everything on, man. I thought I was official. Anyways, he was all laughing and stuff. And I was just like, hey, my bad. So he said he would come out to my truck and let me know whenever they were ready for me to get unloaded. Literally right after I said, I'm probably gonna be here for like three hours. I'm not gonna be here for three hours. So they're actually, hooking everything up right now and i'm about to start getting offloaded so we will see where dispatch wants to send me to because uh at this point i really don't know i thought honestly thought i was gonna be sitting here for a minute and i was like man but <laughs> right after i said that the guy came out and he uh he gave me all, he gave me all my paperwork and told me to hang tight and then he started walking away and then another guy i think maybe the supervisor uh said basically do that he was doing this like swing it around so that way i could start getting unloaded and i saw the other prime driver she hopped in her truck and she started moving so i'm like sweet since they're pumping off and 
they've already given me the paperwork for it, scale ticket, bill lading, and the wash ticket. I'm gonna fill out my trip sheet, put the delivery date, and then I'm gonna submit my paperwork. All right, so, man, I gotta find, what is, uh, what is today's date? Oh, today's, uh, oh, shoot, wait, it's 805. I gotta put the trailer number and the date. I almost put it in the wrong spot. All right, so, see here, it's got one, two, three, four pages, fill this out. Uh, now I just got to, now I just gotta submit this over to, over to Prime. I'm actually, I'll show you guys on the screen uh, as far as how I submit my paperwork here. All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is I need to open up the, so I have my, my trip sheet, my scale ticket, my wash ticket, and my bill of lading. So the first thing that I wanna do is open up the Prime app, and we're gonna start from the beginning. So I'm gonna go to where the load is at, where it says sustainable sourcing. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom because that's the receiver. And if you look there, it says depart, drop trailer inspection or trip documents. So I'm going to select trip documents. And if you look at the top, there's a check mark next to a load number 9750343-01. That's the one that I'm currently on. The one underneath was the load, the previous load. So it's already pre-checked the load that you're currently on. So I'm going to select trip sheet. That's the first one. Next, now I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of my trip sheet. And then I'm going to select next. And this little orange box is usually, it goes around the, the sheet automatically. If not, you can kind of drag it with your fingers like this. And you hit next. I'm going to hit send. And down at the bottom it says, yes, scan another document, no send batch, cancel. I'm going to select yes, scan another. So the next, I'm gonna move this trip sheet. So the next one that I'm going to scan, let me take these apart, because I send them in one at a time. The next one I'm gonna send is going to be the bill of lading. So I always line it up on the paper. So the bill of lading, I'm gonna check it, hit next. This time I'm gonna turn my phone sideways. There we go. And down here at the bottom, it'll say rotate. So I'm gonna rotate it until where I can see it. Then I'm gonna hit next. And I'll just go ahead and hit next. And I'm gonna hit send. Yes, scan another. The next one is I'm gonna do is the scale ticket. So on the option, it says scale ticket. I'm gonna select scale ticket, hit next. And now I'm gonna take a picture of the scale ticket. And now I'm gonna hit next. Next, I'm gonna send that, and then I'm gonna hit yes, scan another. So this is gonna be the last one, which is gonna be the wash ticket. So now, set my wash ticket down here so I can take a picture. So down here at the bottom, it says trailer wash. I'm gonna select it. You see that it's checked in blue. I'm gonna hit next. And now I'm gonna take a picture of my wash ticket. I'm gonna hit next. And it's already on there perfectly. Next, send. And now this time I'm gonna hit no send batch at the bottom. So now I've submitted all my documents for this load. The only thing that I would have to do next is if you see on the screen, under the, where it says drop off sustainable sourcing LLC, it says depart. I would just check, hit this. So once they're done unloading me and they say I'm good to go, I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna click on depart and I'm gonna fill out all this stuff and then I'm gonna send it. once. A dispatch receives this they know that I'm empty and I'm ready for another load so there you go and that my friends is how you send your documents through the prime app that's how you do it easy breezy beautiful cover girl you know what I'm talking about let's keep trucking with Rex